In the past year, Instagram has become one of my favorite social networks. I'm on it almost every single day. I try to post as often as possible. And if you don't follow me, link for that will be down below in the description. But when I do post, I try to make them as high quality as possible. Inevitably, I'm always getting questions on how I edit my photos and how I make them look the way I do. So I figured in this video, that's gonna go through my process. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Matt and this is how I edit my Instagram photos. Now, of course, the most important part is actually taking the photo. Now this can be done in a myriad of ways. For me, I either use a dedicated camera or I use my phone. It really just depends on the situation. Of course, I prefer using my camera, which right now is an A6300 and it works really well for photography. But when I don't have that on me, which often is most of the time, I just use my phone, which right now is an iPhone 6S. I like the iPhone because it's consistent. I know what I'm gonna be able to get out of it and I know what situations it's just not gonna do well in. I'm used to the camera and I like the way it performs, so it works well for me. But really, whatever camera you have is what's gonna work. Now, when taking the photo, composition and lighting is key. I really prefer natural light. I love the way it looks and when you get a nice diffusion in that natural light, I think it looks perfect and that's really what I like to use. Of course, it's up to you depending on what style you're looking for, but again, I like that natural look. Now, once you have the lighting down, it's all about composition. And again, this depends on what you're photographing. I like to use basic photography rules like the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is probably the most helpful here. I also like to use different props. So I have a bunch of different plants and different items that I can use in these photos to help give a better, more inviting effect. Now, once you take the photo, it's very easy to say, I took the photo, it should be ready and just post it right there. But for me, that's just the beginning. Once I have the photo, then I have to go edit it. Editing really depends on what camera I'm using. If I'm using my A6300, then I'm shooting in RAW and I'll take that into Lightroom on the computer and edit in there. Lightroom is from Adobe, it's excellent software. It's my favorite photo editing software there is out there. It's not free, but it's in the Creative Cloud package. So if you have that, go ahead and download it and give it a try. Now my editing style lately, I don't really know what the word for it is, but it's a little on the cooler side and a little on the more flat side. I used to have a lot of contrast and really punchy colors, but lately I've kind of toned it down a bit and I really like the results I'm getting. But taking photos on my dedicated camera and editing on my computer does not happen most of the time for my Instagram photos, only for some of them. Most of the time I'm on my phone. When I'm editing on my phone, I use ViscoCam. This is probably one of the most popular programs out there for editing photos and it is excellent. I really love it. It has a ton of different filters that you can purchase and ones that are built in. I personally don't really like using those all that much. I do use them occasionally. I like the A series, which is like the minimalist, I think. That's my favorite series, but most of the time I create my own in the settings. So I import my photos into ViscoCam and then I start editing. The process is mainly the same as if I was in a full program like Lightroom. I like to up the contrast, I like to adjust the brightness just to make sure everything's okay, and then I like to bring in some fade. Fade is probably one of my favorite settings. It really gives you that look that a lot of people are using these days. I also adjust the temperature and the tint. All of this gives you that cooler feeling, and I also like to add a bit of sharpness as well, especially if it's taking on a phone. Once I have the photo looking the way I like, I export that to my camera roll and then I bring it into Instagram. Once I bring it into Instagram, a lot of the time I end up editing it a little bit more. I like the tools that Instagram has as well. I don't think it's as full featured as VisualCam, so I do like to use both of them. Once I'm happy with how the image looks, and this can take some time, I will admit, but once I'm happy, I go ahead and post it. Something I really try to strive for is that when you go to my page, everything kind of looks consistent. I don't want something to pop out and not look like it belongs with the rest of the photos. It doesn't really matter because most of the time they're seeing it in the feed so you're not gonna like see anything pop out but I just like that when you go to my page everything looks like it fits and it's all my style but yeah that is my process that's what I'm thinking about when I go to edit my photos of course everyone's style is gonna be different the way I edit my photos might not be how you edit your photos and my style might not match up with yours so really just make something that you think looks good and if you like it then post it I hope you enjoyed this video and found it a little bit helpful. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, be sure to do that. The link will be down below. It's just my name, Matt D. Gonzalez. It's very easy to find. Go ahead and follow me over there. Lately, I've been trying to post as often as possible, at least once a day or every other day. So be sure to check those photos out. Also, don't hesitate to ask any questions over there on Instagram or here below down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can see new videos like this. They're being posted every Tuesday and Friday. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed enjoyed. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Matt and I will see you in my next video. See ya.